Hey everyone, welcome to Online Education Academy Zere. On today's lesson, we'll be doing probability. So we're having a scenario here that if two fair coins are flipped. So fair coins, the word fair, which means it is fair. So in a coin, there's a head and a tail. If two fair coins are flipped, what is the probability of uh, getting at least one head? Right, so how many coins are flipped? Two coins. Two coins are flipped. Right. When flipping, in the first coin, you get the probability of getting a head and a tail. And then if these coins are flipped, if two coins are flipped at the same time, now you can get head, two coins are flipped. You can get a head and a head, a head and a tail. A head and a head, a head and a tail, again, head and a tail. So if two coins are flipped, these are the probab these are the probability. A probability comes from the word possibility. So the possibilities that you get. So the outcomes, let's say possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. These are the outcomes that you can get. So the possible outcomes, if you're flipping two coins, you can get a head and a head. You can get a head and a head. You can get a head and a tail. H, T. You can get a tail and a H. Tail and a head. You can get the tail and a tail. Tail and a tail. So these are the outcomes. How many possible outcomes that you can get? Four possible outcomes. Right, that you can get. So what we need, what we need is a it's a it's a probability of getting, so of getting at least one head. This is the this is the probability of getting. P, probability of at least one H H for head, ne? The probability of getting at least one head is equal to where do we have head? So we have here, here we have two heads, at least one head. We have two heads here. We have one head here. So it's three. So it's three over four. So three over four, you'll get zero comma, is it decimal? Zero comma seven five, is it decimal? Which is 75%. If you need it in percentage, 75%. Of getting at least one head, so seventy-five percent chance of getting at least one head in in this scenario. So possible outcomes are four of at, of getting at least one head. It's three outcomes, three out of four, which is seventy-five percent. Right. So I hope you understood this part. Then we'll do other questions. Right. Okay. Then. Let me wrap that to make space. So, if three coins are flipped, what is the probability of getting at least two tails? Of getting it at least two tails. Now we have three coins. So in a tree diagram, you easily see see it. So in 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 three coins. In the first coin, you can get the head tail, and then you can get head tail, head tail, like that. Right, the third time, you can get head tail, you can get head tail, head tail. Head tail. Right, so we'll write so for three coins is like this. So first, second, third. Three coins are flipped. Right? If you are flipping one coin, this is second coin, the third coin. Right? Flipping three coins at the same time. So you have po then the possible outcome 
of flipping three coins then you get h h h so you can get head in all three of the coins you can get hit or you can get h h t you can get a head a head and a tail h h t ne? then you can get a h tail and a h you can get a head tail and a head right you can get a head tail and a head you can get a head tail and tail you can get head tail tail right then you can get a tail a head and a head you can get a tail a head and a head you can get a tail a head and a head you can get a tail a tail a head and a tail you can get a t h t Right, then you can get a tail, tail, H, okay. tail, tail, H, then you can get a tail, 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 then you can get a tail, 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 you can get three tails. So how many possi possibilities do you have, possible outcomes? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight total possible outcomes of flipping three coins so let's go back to our equation if three okay no um if three coins are flipped what is the probability of getting at least two tails right so it's saying at least two two tails so the probability that we are calculating probability of at least two tails Right, so 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 we'll check where we have two tails, at least two tails. How many tails do we have here? Here we have two. So this is the first probability. Uh, okay, here we have two tails also. Second, third, fourth. Right. So we have four. So our answer is going to be equal to four over eight. Four over eight which is the same as 1 over 2 so which is the same as 0 comma 5 as a decimal so if you need it you need a percentage 0 comma 5 it's 50 percent so the probability of getting at least two actually uh, of getting at least two tails is equals to 50 percent so there's a 50 percent chance of getting at least two tails so if you give if you if you get an understanding from your tree diagram then you can be able to get pos possible outcomes these are the outcomes that you can get right this this these are the basics of prob probability so probability it's, it's the possibility of something happening what is the possibility so there's a 50 percent chance of getting that okay and then let's go to our third question what does the third question see if three coins are flipped what is the probability of getting exactly one tail so the probability of getting exactly one tail so we're still having three coins flipped right So we have a probability of exactly one tail. Probability of getting exactly one tail. So we, we're going to check here. We have one tail. We're gonna we will tick. We have one tail. We have one tail here. Mm. We have uh, one tail here. Tail a H. So there's three out of eight. Three, ne? One, two, three. Out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have our answer is equal to three over eight. So three over eight. 
which gives which gives us zero comma three seven five as a fraction as a decimal as a decimal this fraction into a decimal zero comma three seven five which as a percentage zero comma three seven five is 37,5 percent so there's a 37,5 percent chance of getting exactly one take so thank you very much for your time don't forget to subscribe on online education academy zeray for more learning content